All right, we're going to do another example involving Venn diagrams. Billyanna recorded the possible sums that can occur when you roll two four-sided dice in an outcome table. So these dice only have four sides. So we have dice one, we'll call it the pink dice, which has options of one, two, three, or four. And we have dice two, which we'll call the blue dice, which also has a 1, 2, 3, or 4 on it. So A asks us to display the following sets in one Venn diagram. So we have rolls that produce a sum less than 5 and rolls that produce a sum greater than 5. So let's just identify this set. Rolls that produce a sum less than 5, let's call that L. And rolls that produce a sum greater than 5, let's call that set G. So if we're drawing out a Venn diagram, we're going to start with drawing our large rectangle representing our universal set. And we're going to put a big U in the top hand corner representing our universal set, which is all possible sums. Then we need to make two circles for L and G, but we have to decide if these two circles should overlap or not. Can we have a sum that is less than 5 and greater than 5 at the same time? No, it's not possible. So when we draw out our subsets, we're going to draw them disjoint. So we have set L, which is sums less than 5, and we have set G, which is sums greater than 5. Okay. So if we look at our chart, the sums that are going to be less than 5 are going to be the ones I just highlighted in the blue shape. So our possible rolls that we could have that produce a sum less than 5 is a 1 on both dice. We could have a 1 on the pink dice and a 2 on the blue dice. Or vice versa, we could have a 2 on the pink dice and a 1 on the blue dice. We could have a 2 on both dice. We could have a 1 on the pink dice, a 3 on the blue dice. We could also have a 3 on the pink dice and a 1 on the blue dice. And those are our, all of our different options in terms of our rules. Okay, now let's look at our rolls that produce a sum greater than 5. So that will be all of the sums in the green shape that I'm drawing. So we could have a 2 on the pink dice with a 4 on the blue dice, or vice versa, a 4 on the pink dice and a 2 on the blue dice. We could have a 3 on both dice. We could have a 3 on the pink dice, a 4 on the blue dice, or vice versa, a 4 on the pink dice, a 3 on the blue dice. Or our last option is to have a 4 on both dice. So now we have taken care of all of our sums that are less than 5 and all of our sums that are greater than 5 in a Venn diagram. B asks us to record the number of elements in each set. So the number of elements in set L is 6. There are six possible outcomes that produce a sum less than 5. The number of elements in set G is also 6 because there are six possible outcomes that produce a sum greater than 5. And the last question, C, says to determine a formula for the number of ways that a sum less than or greater than 5 can occur and to verify your formula. So the formula we're going to use when we want to find the number of sums that is less than or greater than 5 is an addition. So anytime you see an or, you want to think about adding the two together. So there's six outcomes that satisfy the number of 
sums less than five, there's six outcomes that satisfy the number of elements greater than five. So therefore, there's 12 outcomes that satisfy the requirement that is less than or greater than five. So there's 12 different outcomes here. And we could say that these two are disjoint, or a better word to use would be mutually exclusive. So mutually exclusive are two or more events that cannot occur at the same time. For example, the sun rising and the sun setting are mutually exclusive events. So when you're talking about an event and something taking place, the better term to use is mutually exclusive if there's no common elements or neither of the events can occur at the same time. 